If you've been using your ring light like this, you've been doing it wrong your whole life. It seems like everyone has a ring light at home these days, whether you're just working from home or you just want to take some cool photos. But the question is, are you using it correctly? Let's talk about it. Hello, my name is David Saw. I'm a portrait photographer here in Los Angeles. And today I want to help you to see light the way I do so you can make the most educated decision on how to use your ring light to light that beautiful self. Before we get into the nitty gritty and how to use your ring light, let's quickly talk about why ring lights are so popular in the first place. I think there are two aspects. First, it's just really beautiful light. It's a relatively soft and diffused light that illuminates our face full frontal 360. And in return, it helps lighten any blemishes that we might have on our faces. In the photography industry, we call this the beauty light because it's a flattering light for any single person. The second reason why the ring light is so popular is just sheer convenience. Especially nowadays, the ring lights are made with a phone holder in the center where you can just plop up the ring light. You don't even need a phone holder. You just place it right in the ring light itself and bada bing, bada boom, two in one, and you're ready to go. However, convenience comes at its own price. Why? Because no matter where you look, you're taught to use the ring light in one way, which puts you in a box when in reality, lighting is complex. It's meant to give you ways to express your mood, your creativity, and most importantly, create an image that you love. In light of breaking you outside of the box that poor product design and marketing has placed you in, let me show you how to see light and create light that is flattering to you with some demonstration. Let's get straight to it. So this is typically how we have the ring light set up, but let me show you why it might not be the most flattering or the best use of the ring light for you. It doesn't look that bad, right? If anything, I'm very well illuminated and I look pretty good. But like I said earlier in the video, I want to help you see the light. I want to help you see what I'm seeing beyond just one general light. Now, this is what my phone camera would be seeing if I'm trying to take a cute selfie. But to show you why this might not be the most flattering, because it looks great right now. I'm illuminated. I look bright. I want to teach you how to see light the way I see it as a photographer, because it's not as simple as light on and off. Three things that I want you to look for when looking at light is the brightest spot of the image, the highlights, and the shadows. And to demonstrate that, let me take a selfie for you. Let's put this on a three second timer. Take a very standard photo. Okay, so I have the selfie pulled up on my iPad. I'm gonna do some fancy iPad drawing so we can look for all those three different lighting attributes together. Starting with the brightest spot in the image. Now the brightest spots for me, I see on my forehead. I'm gonna do these in green. I also see it on my cheeks, my chin actually, right over here, there's quite a highlight over there. And then also on my neck, just like a ring, really. Boom. Let's also go ahead and identify the shadows. We're gonna use that in black. We have it a little bit around towards the edge of my face. We have it around my smile on my neck a little bit. And then identifying the rest of the highlights that aren't the brightest spots. Let's use a yellow highlighter we have here. And I forgot a little shadow spot on my nose here. So this is what it looks like. As you can see again, it's really like, what shape is it? A ring! We can really just see how it's shaping the light on our face. Especially with the donut in the middle of the ring, you can see how it had cast a shadow because it's, there's no light on the nose. To people who do makeup, this might look a little interesting. It might be very familiar to maybe how we want to contour our faces. However, when we want to contour our faces, we don't want a dark line down the center of our nose. We want to contour the sides and add a little highlight over here. And same thing when we're looking at light. It's almost like we're contouring our face. So what can we do? Let me show you. So the first thing we want to do is actually remove the phone from 
the ring light itself. Thankfully for me, I have the ring light on a stand and I have the phone on a different stand so that I can just change and adjust the light. I have upgraded myself to a voice activated light stand uh, for educational purposes. So what I'm gonna do is raise, and everyone, I want you to watch the light on my neck. I'm gonna have you, Valerie, raise that light. And already you can see that my neck is darker and tilt it down towards me. And now you can see that the brightest spot on my face is actually my forehead right over here and my eyes and my neck is no longer illuminated. That brings the focus towards me and my eye, which is the most expressive part of us. And that lets us focus in on our beautiful face and not our neck like this. However, that is not to say if you do want to show off your beautiful neck, now you know why and how to do so. All right, so let's get a cute selfie with this beautiful light and see how it turns out. Let's look at this. So I have that selfie up here and we're gonna do the same thing like we did earlier on. Let's find those three lighting attributes, starting with the brightest spot in the image. We're gonna do that again with green. This time, the brightest spots are right here on my cheeks, on my eyebrows, on my ear, and then maybe a little bit towards over here. And the big difference from the previous photo is that now we have some light on our nose, or at least on the right part of our nose. Let's go and find the highlights of our face, which is on the bridge of our nose, a little bit on the forehead. We have our chin illuminated just a little bit, our mouth just a touch. A little bit of our neck is illuminated, but now it's not the brightest spot anymore. If we take a look at our shadows, we have our jaw, which is typically where we will contour and make up to create that beautiful jawline. And there's also a slight gradation from the light to shadows around our jawline here as well. A little bit on our nose on the side because we want to contour again the side of our noses. Also again on the side of our chin around here. And when you look at that, it's gonna look like this. <laughs> oh, and then of course we have the shadow on our neck. Like that. Previously, we had the focus of the portrait be the whole face, like this whole thing. But now we're guiding our audience, we're guiding the viewer to a certain area, right? Now we get to guide the viewer towards our eye and we get to go sort of outwards. And then we kind of come back in, right? For me as well, I love how chiseled my jaw looks because of the shadow that's right underneath. And again, I'm not showing off my neck as much as I love my neck. Now, there is no right or wrong way to use light or create light for yourself. That's why I said very early on in the video, I want you to make educated decision on what makes you look good. And I want to give you the right tools to empower yourself in front of the camera. All right, you beautiful people. Hope you learned lots in this video to help, again, empower you and your beauty in front of the camera. I am here to help you do that even more. So if you wanna learn anything else, whether it's posing, lighting, or angling, let me know in the comments what you wanna learn next, and I'll catch you next time. All right, you beautiful people. Huh? Beautiful people. <laughs> yes, beautiful people.